everyone, this is Downs from the Divine, and I am doing a Twin Flame Collective daily reading for June 25th, 2018. Happy Monday. <laughs> I'm not saying that sarcastically, too. Well, I guess I am. Maybe I am. <laughs> I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. And maybe I'll check out, I need to see what's going on astrologically right now. I'm not an astrologer, but uh, I need to see what's actually going on right now astro astrologically. All I know is, is that we're going, we're having some, a lot of movements and stuff happening, new beginnings and all kinds of stuff that's happening. And that's continuing. And it's really beautiful to see the progression of all of that over these, just the few weeks, the couple weeks that I've been doing these readings so um, it's really beautiful oh, I'm going to go ahead this is the universal weight tarot deck and then I'll be clarifying this with the gypsy fortune deck and again a warning um, I have a little dog that likes to bark she's chilling out it is a hot summer day and she is chilling and having some chill time and so I'm not, I'm not bothering her by moving her right now just in case. Oops. Okay, we got Emperor flew out. What you doing, Emperor? All right. <laughs> okay, that's enough. That's good. This is for the Twin Fun Collective for, oh, well. Oh, King of Swords again. This King of Swords keeps popping out in different readings. He's weekend too. Okay. Some of y'all are dealing with someone, we'll look at the other cards, but I feel like some of y'all y'all are dealing with divine masculine and taking on this energy. Okay. I always pull the, after I pull the one card that comes out, I pull the top card, which is the Ace of Swords, and the bottom card. Some of y'all today are going to be getting some clarity and some communication with someone, with Divine Masculine. I feel a lot of Divine Masculine. Wanting to communicate. We'll see. We, there's no major arcanas here, though. Okay. Okay, so the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles, grounded, stable, new beginnings. This is, you know, committing to building something from the ground up. Um, offers of stability. This is starting with the first pinnacle and go moving all the way up to the ten of pentacles. Um, I feel that there are some divine masculine who had to, thought they could get to the ten of pentacles with someone and they could not get to the ten of pentacles. There's some Divine Masculine that they did have the Ten of Pentacles with someone. It did not work out. And now they're having to start over. But they're wanting to start over and offer a Pentacle to you, Divine Feminine, that are watching. There's Divine Masculine also that are watching, that are wanting to do this. But we have King of Swords here, and we have the Ace of Swords, so they know that for them to be able to do this, they've got to bring, they've got to communicate. They can't get this without communication. Okay. And we've got judgment again. That's the major arcana right there. So judgment came out um, as part of that weekly reading as well. And this is that look up the that look at the past look of the past a forgiving review of the past this is forgiving yourself this is forgiving others and it's having that compassionate review of the past making a judgment call and moving forward into new beginnings 
So what I feel with judgment though, I feel with judgment is that it is, uh, it's a number 20 card. It's a number two. Number two is all about is that I feel like that is, um, in this sense, it's that decision, that, that, that decision, that fork. So with judgment, for us to be able to move forward into new beginnings, we have to forgive and release, release the past and forgive, right? The decision, though, is whether or not you you forgive and you release the past, or whether you decide to move forward is uh, the decision point. So I feel for both divine masculine and divine feminine. For divine feminine, I feel like you're going to have divine masculine that are coming in offering this. You have that forgiving compassion you forgive them you know you for you to be able to move forward you have to release anger and resentment and forgive folks and move forward forgiving is not condoning their behavior but it's forgiving them and having compassion and moving forward the decision is whether or not you want to move into a new beginning with that person with the ace of pentacles if they're offering you the ace of pentacles after you've forgiven them for whatever happened in the past it's you making a decision whether or not you want to accept what they're offering you. And that's your decision. Okay? There are divine masculine fearing this. Because they have to come to a point where they've forgiven themselves. For whatever they've done. They forgive you as well. Because all of, it takes two. Um, or sometimes three or four. Um, but they're having to also have that review of the past because they want to offer the, they want to offer there's divine masculine want to offer the divine feminine is okay king of swords In this sense, I feel the king. So, King of Swords is a very, very logical, and I, I, I've talked before about whether the King of Swords, when they're operating out of a high energy and a low energy. In this sense, this King of Swords is operating out of a high energy, um, and I can we'll clarify with the Gypsy Fortune deck to see if there's anything else. But looking the feeling that I'm, the messages I'm getting, and the feeling I'm getting, and the cards around it, this is someone operating out of a high energy of this high frequency of the king of swords very logical looking at things from a very logical perspective communicating um i feel that you all have had to do this and especially with the judgment here i feel that both divine masculine and divine feminine are having to do this some of you today you may be starting for those of you who may have had sporadic communication with your divine masculine divine masculine divine feminine for those of you who have not had any communication, for those of you who have still had communication, but you may have had communication, but you still have not really hashed out what happened. And I feel that for some of you today, energy is fluid, but for today, you may be starting those conversations and communicating. And communicating out of this King of Swords energy. And communicating, we have overall, we have the Ace of Swords, which is all about truth and clarity. Cutting through all of the stuff, all the illusions, the lies, the deceit. But this is bringing, this is after that Ten of Swords. And bringing some clarity as to what, why did this happen. You, yes, you have a forgiving review of the past. You released the past. But for you to be able to, if you if y'all are talking about actually moving moving into a new beginning together you have to that's like the elephant in the room like everything that happened it's just standing there and it you you can't leave that just standing there for you to be able to move into a new beginning it's just going to block everything else so it's having that clarity it's talking about it and for there's divine masculine they've had difficulty getting to this point because they know, they want that Ace of Pentacles. They want that. 
they want to start that, but they know for them to be able to start that, they have to bring this. There has to be some communication and some clarity about what happened. And then we have the Ace of Swords. We have that with the Three of Wands. So I'm getting several messages from this. I'm getting that continuing waiting. Have made a decision. You want a passion, a new beginning. But I feel like there's divine masculine that's still a work in. They're needing to work on and clearing out that with that yellow. I've talked about this card before. The water in this card is yellow. It's not blue. And if it's that, uh, not just sacral chakra, sorry, because that would be orange. It's the, the solar plexus chakra, which is all about your self-worth, your self-confidence. So there's divine masculine that are still trying to work through this. They've made a decision. They want that passionate new beginning. They want that. They've, they've, they've selected, there's three wands here. They've grasped onto one. Not two, just one. They want that passionate new beginning. But there's some issues and things with the solar plexus chakra and having enough confidence and part of that getting to that place is you know unblocking that chakra and then all, and having enough confidence to move forward i feel also divine feminine that for for those divine feminine that are watching that you also work on balancing and clearing your chakra i always during every reading i keep my citrine out and citrine helps to unblock all of your, you know, unblock your chakras. And so I suggest you maybe looking at getting some of that. There's some, there's some solar plexus chakra affirmations. But when this happens, if you, if you are, if you're, you know, divine feminine that you have divine masculine that are coming back, you're gonna have to. I, I would suggest even not even just your solar plexus chakras, but throat chakras. Because there's going to have to be some communication, clear communication, cutting through all of the different illusions about moving forward, whether or not you want to move forward, but also talking about what happened and where you are and then looking forward to moving to the future if, you, if you're deciding to do that. But what is awesome with this card is that there has been a decision made that yes, you're waiting. You know, some people talk about this waiting for your ships to come in or whatever. You're waiting, but you've chosen. You've grasped onto one of those one of those wands. You're wanting that passionate new beginning. Okay? This is after that two of wands where also that person in the two of wands card is holding on to one wand. It's making a decision. Okay. So this is this is getting prepared you may be even just on your own you're getting clarity you know you could be getting some just clarity from other things and insights and especially since we're going through these spiritual awakenings you may maybe be maybe on your own but i feel with this king of swords here this is this is communicating with someone this is talking with someone clarify the king of swords then we're going to clarify the ace of swords with this three of wands okay this is the gypsy fortune cards this king of swords thank you angels and spirit for all your guidance and your clarity this is for june 25th 2018 this king of swords please clarify this king of swords Yeah, there's a stork. The Ace of Swords with the Three of Wands. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. That's Cupid. Oh, 
Okay, some of y'all, um, y'all are getting some messages in about around commitment and a person wanting commitment with you. This was, this is not everyone. This is resonating. Of course, this is for the collective. But you have divine masculine that are coming in. They're wanting something stable and they're wanting commitment. They're wanting to deliver that message. We have at the bottom of the deck, we have the uh, ring. And um, you have this. This is the bride and the groom. This is equivalent also to the Hierophant card. This is the wedding card. This is union. Commitment. It took a wrap up of a cycle though to reach this point. You see this is a number 18 and number 9. Wrapping up a cycle. And this is what it took for Divine Masculine. It took this to get to this point. And then on the other side is the... Again, we've got this... Um, I've noticed that I've done a, a few readings where we have people with letters and holding letters and envelopes. And so I feel like that's just a confirmation that I'm there's you're getting some communication in from folks. So this is the bride, this is the um, card called the bride. It's the number 35 card. It is a number that's the number eight. That's that's movement forward, but that's also communication. And you see that she is sitting there. She's got, you know, there's two roses there. And she's sitting there, which is all about love. So that's what I have my rose. I always keep my rose, rose quartz with me as well. So you may want to also look at that. Look at keeping that around you. That helps to keep also your heart chakra open. Um, and release any blockages because we're constantly dealing with things, remembering things. But it helps you to keep and have that open loving and a forgiving heart right um but this bride right here she's reading a letter this is also in the gypsy fortune deck it also um stands for the ten of cups so some of you your divine masculine they see you fully divine feminine as they're wanting a stable commitment with you and they're looking at they're looking at stability they're looking at commitment they're looking at marriage and this is what these this two sides of this deck is showing. They see you as the bride or the ten of cups. Emotional fulfillment. And so clarifying this king of swords is the stork. And this is again communication. So this is a number 17, which is a number 8 as well. And this is what the stork is positive communication. So I feel that there's Divine Masculine. They've taken on this King of Swords energy and they're bringing in communication to you. So some of you, there may be still a slight delay to this because of the issues with this solar plexus chakra that they're still working out. But they're in the King of Swords energy. They're in the King energy, not the page or the knight. They're in the King energy, which is awesome. And so then we have the Ace of Swords with the th with the Three of Wands, and we have this clarifying. This is Cupid. This is love. This is infatuation. This is love. This is the Cups. This is a number thirty one. This is four. So this is getting echoing that stability foundation. They're wanting to to start a foundation and have a foundation with you a commitment. Okay, well, that's such a powerful message. There are some of you, and this is for the collective. This may not resonate with all of you, but there are some of you that they are fully awakened. Divine Masculine is fully awakened to, the, to who you are to them. And they want that. They want that Ten of Cups. Um, and they're looking at commitment and communicating that to you of how they feel. There are, this King of, with this King of Swords, there are some of you who have dealt with divine masculine who have not shown their feelings. They've been feeling like this. They felt like this during, a, they, they could have been feeling this way during a whole past cycle that closed out. And it caused a lot of heartbreak and confusion 
It could have been dealing with other people too that they were still hanging on to and dealing with. And it caused a lot of heartbreak and confusion to you. But you could feel it, but they weren't showing it to you. They weren't showing it or they, and they weren't communicating it. They weren't doing two things. They may do things that were confusing to you. And you were like, well, does, does, does he or she like me or is in love with me? I feel that they are in love with me, but yet they're doing this and they're not telling me. So there are divine masculine. They're having to get the confidence and the strength and self-value, self-worth, self-strength, self-confidence. I mean, that's all the solar plexus and all of that confidence. And they're having to work through that and unblock because I feel like there's divine masculine. Whatever cycle they went through caused a block with their solar plexus chakra. I feel divine feminine also having to just be cognizant of that and look at that because when you go through cycles of rejection um, and you, you felt rejected by a person, this is very easily how your solar plexus chakra can just become so blocked. And so it's being cognizant of that and, and, and working through that and working through unblocking that. But they could have been hiding this, not telling you for whatever reason that was. And they're having to work up the confidence and the strength to be able to tell you how they feel about you, their true emotions, because they know who you are to them. They know you are the Ten of Cups. They know you are, they, they're wanting stability for some of them and, and wanting a commitment and they're wanting to move forward. And they're wanting to communicate that and they're having to gather up the strength. But they know part also part of that, it's the the big thing with that that's causing also some issues. That's why they you have to have an unblocked solar plexus chakra. It's because there's gonna be truth and clarity brought about things that weren't so great. And that they feel were really, really, you know. I feel like divine feminine, you know a lot of it. But well, we've had the moon pop up in some, some readings, so you may not know the whole full story about it. And they feel like whatever they have to tell you, whatever clarity they have to bring, because they know they have to bring clarity to you to have a new beginning, um, that they're feeling like that make, you may be turned off or not like it or something and not want to be start a new beginning with them. Okay? All right, y'all, that is the reading. But this is like communication. This is communication time, which isn't surprising. I mean, it's the summer. I've been feeling that too. People during the summertime, it's kind of you like you want to, you want to, you want to, you know, have companionship. And especially, you know, if, if you have a divine, ma uh, divine masculine that they've come up, they've come fully awakened to the connection, which divine feminine, you already were awakened. They're becoming awakened to it and now are fully realizing all of who you are. So stay in your power, stay in your strength, continue to love yourself. Enjoy companionship with yourself as well. Um, companionship with others is great too, but that first having that companionship with yourself, um, and continue just to stay in your power. But the Divine Masculine, there's some that are coming fully awakened. And they're really wanting to have a new beginning and a committed new beginning for a lot of y'all. Okay? All right. Okay. Have a wonderful Monday. Bye.